What is going on guys? This is all gaming with my review of Hamatora episode 2 and this episode it, it was definitely pretty solid. I actually liked it a lot. So it starts off with birthday. He does here trying try to impress the ladies with a little magic trick but it definitely blows out, out of proportion because as soon as he does this trick there's this explosion going on. So these these women or you know the, the people that were ever watching him they actually thought that he was the guy that was behind the explosion so he actually got arrested and and now people think that he was some bomb terrorist but we all we obviously see that he does get free later on so he definitely got cleared up of all charges of that so now we're back in the bar where we have uh nice Morosaki uh what's what's that girl name oh ha Hajime and we also have that guy that actually, you know, works behind the bar. I, I don't think they said his name yet. Or maybe they have. I think I, I think his name is Master. I'm, I'm not sure if it is or not. But this guy was actually going on on a tangent about these fried cutlet sandwiches. That, about, about how they, like, slow you down. And when, when Hajime you know, actually heard this, she actually wanted a sandwich. And so did Nice. Because they, they were planning on, you know, having that sandwich and then leaving. Because, you know, the guy behind the bar, he was saying how that slows you down and all. But now we have these these two kids, Theo, I believe the, 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 uh, the girl name was, was Ray. I'm, I'm not sure they're right or not, but they are. But they they have come to they they, they have come to them with, with, with a job because they want to find their missing teacher who been gone for three days. And because the police don't have much to go on, they kind of you know turned them down. So that's why they want Ham Hamatora to go out there and search for him. And of course, you know Murasaki. He was kind of against this, not only what well, because you know this job was from kids, but it was also because he like he knew that they were gonna pay much. But Theo, our our boy here, he actually bought his piggy bank, and luckily you know we have nice you know our our protagonist. He actually you know does end up accepting the job, which is really good. So now they are actually you know posing in in the school with nice being a student, and we have Murasaki being a teacher. And of course, you know, we have, we have all these girls just going crazy over Murasaki. And Nice almost, you know, blew his, blew his cover right there. But they actually managed to blend in quite well. And when it, when it was time for lunch, we, we see people, you know, just running around doing all these things because they really want these fried cutlet sandwiches, but they only sell 10. And we just see that, 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 that these students are going like into a frenzy over them. Because we see that they were like jumping down the stairs and, and they were even going down like these these uh these pipes that were on the side of the school. They were they were basically, you know, taking any means, you know, to make sure that they that they could be one people, you know, to get it. And we also have Nice as well, who who was also running there. And he even used his powers to be the first one there. And these sandwiches cost hundred and fifty yen. But sadly he only had a hundred, so he couldn't get one. So that right there, I definitely felt kind of bad for him because he actually missed out on that, even though he had used his powers. But we see, you know, after school, they actually get this call from from uh, from from Art, our detective here, and there's been a murder, and we see that 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 this dead body it actually belongs to the teacher that they have been looking for, and so now we're at the school they they having this memorial for his death, and you just see that like Theo like shows like no emotion at all. Cause you, you can just tell that this is like getting to him. So like afterwards, you know, Murasaki he actually wants to drop the case because he feel like now that now that the teacher you know have been found dead, they should like leave it like that. But Nice actually wants to finish it because he he feels that, you know, well he, he always finishes the job once he starts. And just because, you know, their the teacher is dead, at least Theo should know, you know, how he died or who killed him. So he definitely, you know, wants wants to continue on. But we see that, that there is this girl who is like really smart with computers and she even made her own app where students will actually post stuff that they, that they don't want to say it like out aloud. And so, you know, Murasaki pretended that he had no idea how to get into it. So he had her show him the way and once, once they, you know, like sign in it and, you know, access the app, we actually come across this post that was from, you know, their, their teacher and after a uh, nice and art, you know, do, do, do some investigating because we see that they also break it, break it to the, break it to the, uh, the teacher home, where they found these pictures as well, from, from uh, Theo getting bullied. They actually, you know, start putting pieces together, or at least nice anyway. 
And I also found it very depressing, you know, how badly people were actually, you know, treating, like, treating Theo. Because he, he even was attempting to, to kill himself. And that right there, you know, it's just depressing. So I definitely felt, I, I felt bad for this character. But once the truth came out, I was definitely surprised. Because, you know, Nice noticed something, you know, because there, there were always five students, you know, taking these pictures. So somebody, you know, had to take it, but, but who was it? And so after, after some investigating, they figured out they were the teacher himself. This teacher that was so nice and always looking out for Theo, he was the one that was like the, uh, the ringleader for him getting bullied. Because we see, because this guy was also a minimum holder, he, he could basically, you know, make words in the pictures. And these bullies, they always, you know, they were so descriptive from how they treated Theo that with, with his ability, you know, making him in the pictures, you know, making those words in the pictures, it was so easy for him. And so he showed a picture, you know, to the higher ups in the school. And that, that that's how they all got expelled. So, you know, basically, you know, this guy got the students to always pick on him. And so that so that way, you know, his social status can, can just, you know, skyrocket. So this guy was just using this poor little kid to make his life better. So I definitely feel bad for Theo and his teacher is definitely a piece of shit. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, mince words there, but he just is. So after, you know, Theo learned the truth, he actually couldn't believe it to the point that he actually threw up. But we see that, you know, he has calmed down. And he, and, you know, he, he thinking more rationally. So now him and Ray, they're actually going to the school because there is something that he wants to say to his teacher. But when they go there, they actually come across this bomb. And we see that one, one of his bullies was also a minimum holder. And he's been going around, you know, attacking these different locations where he was bullied. Because for, for some reason, you know, he, he thinks by attacking these sites where those pictures were, that is somehow going to, you know, clear his name by blowing up reality. Because he, 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 he somehow thinks that, you know, that's, that's going to work. Because the pictures on, on the internet will never go away. He feels like he could somehow, you know, change his fate by, by doing this. And to me, that right there was just crazy talk. Because no matter what he does, it's not going to change at all. And even, you know, Nice felt the same way. I, I'm, and I definitely did not realize, you know, like, that connection between those attacks and the uh and the bombing like that 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 right there i mean the the, uh, the bombing and those pictures i definitely did, did did not realize that that connection so i'm definitely glad that you know that these two different cases somehow you know play the play the part together it seems that like there's always some connection between like, like a job or and, you know like it's something you know that the police are doing right now there's like always some some, some connection going on but luckily you know nice has come there and we see that like this student, he also had the power where he can basically, you know, accelerate time. So he had this stopwatch and he was like speeding up the time on the bomb. And even Nice pointing out that, you know, hit power, it would be so much better if he just used like a grenade. But of course, you know, this guy is not that bright because he, he's kind of crazy. So he, he was like sticking with this whole bomb bit. But luckily, you know, Nice had used his powers or he, he was going to use it while he was like running, running away with the bomb and we see that he bumps into somebody but this person that, 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 that he bumps into we really don't see much of him because Murasaki comes and he, and he uses his, his own power to throw the bomb so now that now, now that they have dealt with that and they're back at the school we, we see that like this guy was actually crazy enough where he was going to take his own life but then Nice and Nice came up with a plan. Like this guy is actually pretty smart, because we see like you know back when, back when Nice was actually posing as a student, he actually solved this problem with, with no you know with with no problem, because we see that you know he had, he actually solved it so quickly that he didn't even show his work, and when one student you know had brought that up, he would know what that mean, and we actually you know got the flashback of Nice. We were like a, a lot younger, being in some kind of facility, and he were, he was with like like two other kids, and and we see that the like nice was actually you know so good at every at everything he did, and these other two kids they were kind of like horrible, that they got taken out, you know they had left this place while while nice stayed in, so I'm definitely looking forward to see more of nice past because I'm I'm, I'm like curious in that now. I'm glad that they have showed that because now I'm more intrigued in the character overall. But once once this guy was actually, you know, like tempting to take his own life, 
you know, and, and nice and nice came up with, with this plan. We see more Saki power once again. Like the uh, the way he was like moving up, moving up that shoot. It was actually you know pretty impressive. I definitely I definitely like the uh, the animation overall for that scene. Like to me that was cool. And then when he punched that guy, you know that right there, which is definitely awesome. And for some reason, you know, once he had destroyed that 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 stopwatch, you know, his power no longer work. So I would imagine that you know, like his his, his conditions, you know, were, were required that he, he that he must have the, you know a stopwatch or something, because why else did the bomb go off when the countdown was over? But most lucky powers, I'm definitely like I'm, I'm definitely liking it. I do want them to I do want them to go like more in depth with it. Because I'm still like confused about it. I, I I'm not sure exactly what it does. Like we have seen him have this like enhanced strength, but what else does it do? Like hopefully, hopefully they actually go you know more in depth, more in depth with that. But once once that guy we actually dealt with, we we see that that Theo and the girl, they are now back at that memorial, where where Nice had bought him a bat from the uh, from the from the baseball club, and now now that he has that. We see Theo kind of go like on a rampage here, where he actually destroys the memorial. Like he first thanks the teacher, but then you know he actually goes on a rampage a little bit and he destroys it. And I mean that right there, it was like definitely justified. You find out that this guy, but that who, who who was always you know watching your back, you know betrayed you and set you up. This guy was like very justified in this, so I'm hoping that, that there's no trouble for him because you know this teacher had it coming, and I'm glad that he's the one that you know messed it all up. But but, but oh oh, and now now we see that the other uh, guy that Nice had, had bumped into is this serial killer, because we learned that you know there are there are some people that are naturally minimum holders, like like some of them are man-made, but the thing is though like. To be to be like that, you actually have to have the brain of of another, you know, minimum holder to be implanted inside of you. So that right there was like definitely shocking. And we see the uh, serial killer; he had been going around, you know, killing all these holders, and he is taking their brains, and he even calls them, you know, his lovers. <laughs> so this guy right here is like definitely creepy. He is very creepy. Like hopefully you know they they stop him soon, but I actually wonder you know what what is he doing with all these brains because he had a lot of them, so I'm definitely wondering like where where's this gonna go with this guy because he he just flat out creepy, but like I said this this, this episode it was very solid I definitely liked it a lot and hopefully you all did too, but as always please don't forget to like the video and subscribe because that really helps me out, but as always you gotta take it easy I'll see you all next time.